Tesla Semi The electric truck developed by Tesla has been a hot topic since its announcement. The excitement surrounding Tesla Semi is massive, with promises of transforming the logistics business by providing an affordable and eco-friendly alternative to conventional diesel trucks. But does it really live up to these expectations? Elon Musk made the first public announcement of the Tesla Semi at the event in Hawthorne, California on November 16, 2017. Two battery alternatives for Tesla's trucks were introduced during the event, a 300-mile range pack and a 500-mile range pack. It was advertised as a game-changer from the start, offering a package of incredible performance, reduced operating expenses, and huge environmental advantages. According to the official Tesla's website, the cost of electric energy is half that of diesel. With a two-year payback period, it claims that the overall fuel savings may be at least $200,000 annually. A great number of people in the transportation industries were excited to hear that the trucks would be in full production by 2019. Several prominent companies have made sizable deposits for this electric truck since the announcement. Among the companies that have booked, several hundred pre-ordered trucks are UPS, Pepsi, and Walmart. On December 1, 2022, Tesla delivered its first production to PepsiCo. It took five years to complete. Musk reminded everyone of Tesla's aim during the delivery event, saying our actual mission is to speed up the advent of sustainable energy. Do you know how the semi matches up to Class 8 EVs already in the market? Stay with us to see the wonders of the Tesla semi. But before we head to that, let's find out what has really changed the trucking industry. The Tesla Semi is not just a vehicle, it's a piece of attraction. Its aerodynamic form and simple interior are intended to enhance both performance and driver comfort. Central seating, touchscreens, and improved autopilot are just a few of the features that set this truck apart. The Tesla vehicle offers semi-automatic driving, which helps lessen driver fatigue and increase safety. Compared to conventional diesel engines, the electric drivetrain is more efficient and has fewer moving parts, which means less damage. With four independent electric motors, it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 20 seconds even when carrying a full cargo. Because of the cheaper fuel and maintenance, it also has a much lower cost per mile. Because of the cheaper fuel and maintenance, it also has a much lower cost per mile. It is powered by modern lithium-ion battery technology on a considerably bigger scale. The goal of this technology is to provide long-haul truckers enough range. Because of its low center of gravity and strengthened battery packs that guard against fires, the truck's design places a high priority on safety. Furthermore, by lowering human error, the enhanced autopilot technology improves overall safety. Without a doubt, the Semi is unique from the others. The 6x4 Tractor, the highest range variant of the Volvo VNR, has a range of 275 miles when equipped with its 6 battery option. Additionally, it has the capacity to regenerate its energy between 5 and 15% through braking. Its top speed is 68 miles per hour. Class 8 Tractor Freightliner E Cascadia, which only provides a day cab, has a 230 mile range rating with multiple battery options and a maximum capacity of nearly 440 kilowatts per hour. 80% of the tractor's battery can be charged in 90 minutes, which means delivery won't be delayed too much. The most remarkable range to date is 330 miles with Nicholas Trey. Though its charging speeds aren't as quick as the E-Cascadia, the Trey is still arguably the finest rival to the Tesla Semi, especially for longer trips due to its high range ratings. According to recent Tesla tests, the Semi offers the best of all of these in addition to a 500 mile range rating. It initially appears to be a market leading variant to the majority of Class 8 EVs available. Tesla continues to rely on autonomous driving and trucking to differentiate it from rivals. Musk wants to bring a remarkable vehicle to the trucking industry that has the potential to significantly beat the ordinary diesel trucks that currently rule the highways. The vehicle is expected to reach 60 miles per hour, up a 5% incline. Truck drivers' concerns highlight the main hurdles that Tesla and the transportation sector as a whole will have to overcome in order to make the widespread use of electric semi-trucks a feasible reality. Also, drivers expressed concern primarily about the availability of charging stations and the ability of the grid to support the enormous power demands of recharging a fleet of Tesla semi-trucks. 
Automobilists note that it would be extremely difficult to simultaneously charge 100 to 900 trucks in one place, requiring a major expansion of grid infrastructure and power supply. The weight of the batteries needed to power the Tesla trucks is another concern that has been brought to light. Truck drivers pointed out that the batteries needed to support a tractor pulling a loaded trailer would likely weigh considerably more than 1,600 pounds of 200 gallons of diesel. This creates questions about weight limitations on highways and bridges, which would compel smaller loads along with the greater number of trucks, increasing the problems with the infrastructure for charging. The drivers take Phoenix, Arizona as an example to show the scope of the problem. They point out that each Tesla semi-truck would need around one megawatt hour to charge and that there are about 1,500 parking spaces for tractor trailers at the main truck stops in the city. Tesla semi-purchasers raise concerns about the feasibility of producing the extra 1 to 1.5 gigawatts of power and suggest that installing tiny modular reactors could be required to meet the increased demand. In contrast to diesel trucks, it emits no pollutants from its exhaust, reducing the entire carbon footprint of freight transportation. This is really impressive, as the transportation industry plays a significant role in the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Even after considering the emissions from the energy output that is used to recharge its batteries, the whole life cycle emissions of the electric truck are less than that of diesel trucks. In reality, the Tesla Semi has greater potential for reducing pollutants and carbon dioxide. Over 70% of automobile pollution is caused by trucks. By 2030, Tesla would have contributed to avoiding between 3 to 5 billion tons of CO2 annually. Approximately 1 billion tons of this harmful gas would come from the fleet of automobiles, 2 billion from the trucks, and 1 to 2 billion more from the solar and stationary battery storage. Expanding the production and delivery capabilities of the Tesla Semi is a critical component for its future success. The company is increasing output at its gigafactories in order to fulfill the increasing demand for their electric vehicle. Dan Priestley, senior manager of semi-truck engineering at Tesla, declared that the company intends to not only survive, but also rule the heavy-duty transportation industry. Speaking to a packed crowd on the main stage of the 2024 Advanced Clean Transportation Expo, Priestley said, When we talk scale, we're talking big scale. He stated that the Class 8 battery electric truck would begin serial production in the automaker's Nevada Gigafactory in 2026 with an eventual target of 50,000 units annually. Expanding the charging network is their next task. Priestley stated, this year, we are expanding the network by investing more than $500 million in new supercharger stations. Eventually, the megachargers will be found in public spaces as well as behind the fence at exclusive venues like the Gigafactory and Pepsi. According to news sources, Tesla has teamed up with UPS and Anheuser-Busch to install on-site charging stations at the company's locations. Tesla hopes to reduce the $1,000 per kilowatt cost of heavy-duty charging to $500 per kilowatt if and when they reach economies of scale. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, and you can watch more videos like this on our channel.